Trying to think of what I got to do. And yeah, I can hear the main banjo theme through Treasure Trove Cove. I'm assuming all levels have like some derivative of it. Yep. Every that's what's uh, another great thing about this game is everything has kind of a little variance to it when you go through certain environments, like underwater. And I actually, I, I like the inspiration for that. I, I looked it up, um, and their main inspiration was actually the LucasArts system I use. Yeah. Which you don't know too much about, but like for the Monkey Island games that I got in introduced, that was an interesting concept. Because like you could go through one town and in every building you'd hear one variation of that exact same tune with a different instrument. That's clever. Yeah. So the fact that somebody is actually using the iMuse idea, I love that idea. I love that concept. Oh no, I just made myself sad because there's no more LucasArts. Why, Disney, did you do that? Why? Seriously? And then hand it over to EA, you stupid idiot. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still happy that, like, Ron Gilbert and Tim Schafer are still getting work. You know, uh, Tim Schafer just barely launched his Kickstarter game, Broken Age. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that he's able to do that, because I still want those people working. But at the same time, LucasArts, why? This big one tells us, Hootie, touch it if you dare. Uh, no, we do not want to touch Grim Grimtilda's booty. I'm just I'm pointing out. Oh, uh, rare. <laughs> and you don't even get the dance for this one. You're in the box. That golden treasure was for me. Now harder still, the game will be. What, did you just turn the game onto hard mode or something? <laughs> not really. That's like what that, that's, what that's kind of hinting at. Oh, you took my thing? Oh, I'm gonna make this harder for you now. Fun fact is, though, you Gruntilda can erase your game if you enter too many cheat codes. What? It's true. They do have a... a they put in, like, an admin function for the game where she can delete your save file. Yes. Touché rare! Holy crap, because... That would be exactly what I'd do. I'd put on, like, every cheat just to mess around with it. And then she'd take it away and I'd be like, F you rare! I'm applauding the idea of that, but that would piss me off as a kid. Okay, it looks like we're getting really close to 100 notes here. Yes. So that's a jiggy right off the bat. Well, that's not a jiggy. It's a, this isn't Mario 64 where it gives you a... A star or something, right? Oh, okay. It's, it's just an extra life, and it goes to that completion bonus. Gotcha. Oh, there's another Jiggy. We are making good time, boys and girls. This is Jiggy number nine. Wow. Okay, I thought we were, like, at seven. If I can just think of where Jiggy is. Alex. Alex is the completionist right here. Complete it! Da -da 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 -da. Does that make me Greg, Greg Wilmot then? Sure, why not? Okay, cool. But Beardman! This is actually kind of appropriate because Alex is kind of sporting a beard right now. <laughs> yeah. But Beardman! P.S. We love Gerard Curliel, and if he wants to sponsor our show, then we have no problem with this. We would sponsor his. Yeah. Except right now. I'm actually, I'm actually on a completionist strike right now. Cause they not because I hit the show, but they finally put up uh, one of their Super Beard Brothers LPs as a completionist review. Yeah. And I have not finished the LP, so I am not watching it until I finish it. <laughs> Shucks. It, it's their Wild Arms review, and it's like seriously that LP is like 50 parts. Oh, right yeah. off the bat. And I'm like I'm not watching this until I finish it because I want to see how this game ends. I should pick up Wild Arms myself. I should. I, I actually, after seeing this, I will pick it up. Um, I will probably just play the PlayStation version, because I'm not sure my PS2 can handle too much. I think it's on the PlayStation Network now. Yeah, it is. You, well, you can get the original uh, PlayStation version, but they actually did a PS2 remake of the first game. Uh-huh. And that's called uh, Ultra Code F, I think. Um, but... I, I'm just going to play the first game. Um, I would love if the remake came out for PlayStation Network, but it probably won't. 
Okay, I can't remember quite where the last chicky is. Hmm. Guide time! Uh oh, we gotta take a break! This is the break music. This is the break music. We are, are taking a break and we are singing really bad, but that's okay because it's banjo. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> I think I know which one I'm missing. I think I'm gonna keep you singing. That was actually kind of dorky. <laughs> This is Drac, entertaining you. Are you not entertained yet? No, do a dance. He's doing a dance already for me. Is this it's it? called the Kazooie Faster Dance. Kazooie, you need to go to the chopper! Do it now! Okay, so which one are we missing? I think it's along this area here. Land. Oh, oh, there's more feathers. Platforming. It's platforming. It's platforming. Uh, no! Damn, you must. No, don't Sharky! die! I don't want to die, stupid. Damn uh, you. Uh, apparently, he's stuck on the box. <laughs> Sucker. Uh, again, damn you. <laughs> no, he's back! Ouch. Mm, lovely. Damn you, muscle memory, and damn you, rare for not implementing the grip hook in game one. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, why did you must you die just because you go into the water? Uh, you think you'd get tired of bear butt, but apparently not. He, he is enjoying the little crap out of it. Oh, he comes in for a second bite? Yeah. He'll bite you as long as you're in the water. Wow. No! Uh, is this one of those things where you have to wait until the block is leaning the right way? It could be. No! Ah! Don't hit this, I'm gonna fly. Swim, damn it! Swim! <laughs> Swim as if your life depended on it, Banjo! It does it depend kinda on does. it. <laughs> That was kind of a joke. It kind of does. Oh, and he's back. Wow. He has magical teleportation powers. This uh, this area has random pockets of teleportation. It's Pokemon Yellow all over again. Exactly. See, people, see, people actually kind of sat there and went, why did you name it that? Did you watch the episode? <laughs> random pockets of teleportation. That's what happens when you hit the space bar. Pretty much, so... But I was I was really just making a joke because uh, I was watching a LP of, a, of an adventure game and that was the joke that they were making was uh, random pockets of physics. <laughs> so... Physics! Oh, okay. And so this is where you'd have to platform, I guess. And there we go! Ten jiggies! Woohoo! Do I have... I still don't think I have 100 jumps, though. No, 97. I'm still a few short somewhere. Well, where would they be? Good question. Good question, that may be. So it's not essential to collect all the eggs and the feathers and all that? Only no, if you but, need them? Yeah, if you need them, yeah. But it's not essential. Everything gold is collectible. Got it. Oh, there's a mumbo token. Yeah, I'm not gonna go for it. You jumbled them. There's gonna be plenty more mumbo tokens. But what if you need mumbo to change you? And that's where the other three notes are. That's probably not even the case. So Mumbo's probably... not even in this world. Oh, really? Okay. Nope. He doesn't appear in all worlds in this game. He only appears in selected ones! Why did I just do that? Wrong button. 
Well, Kazooie just needed the water that much. This actually does make me wonder, so where, where could the last three notes be? Probably in a tree or somewhere. No! We don't know where! Well, there's an extra light. Yeah, but again, extra lights are kind of pointless in this game because they reset after you reset the game. Oh, for a second there, I thought I saw another. That must be another honeycomb. Honeycomb! Honeycomb! Part of the honeycomb hut. Oh, uh, that one's got feathers. Sure, I got like a bunch of trees and feather, feathers, but... Yeah, I don't know exactly. Let's... We have to find them, though. Otherwise, this is not a completionist run. Oh, wait, what's that? What's what? That's an extra life. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, there's a note. Oh, that's Honeycomb. Honeycomb. Don't get my hopes up like that. I was just looking for gold! It's a glint of gold! The golden snitch! Wow, we just referred to Harry Potter now. Woo! Are you excited for the new movie? You mean Fantastic Beasts? Fantastic Creatures and Where to Find Them? Yeah, sure, I could get into it. Even JK is writing it. The only thing that kind of bothers me is I really wish she would just let her work stand. I don't know if you saw the IGN story where now she's regretting putting Ron and Hermione together. Yeah, I don't get why she's regretting it. I like it. Look, look, JK, I get it. You really want to perfect your work, but it's fine. Just leave it be. Go work on the next thing. Mm -hmm. It's just that simple. If you're going to sit there and question whether or not, you know, I should have made it so that Dumbledore was, act, you know, coming out in front of all the Hogwarts students or whatever, then... That's kind of pointless. Because the books are out, and the books will stand on their own merit regardless of what you do. Could it be in the in the lighthouse? No, there's really nothing in the lighthouse. The lighthouse is just a hub. Okay. Well, it's just a portal, I should say. Where are these last freaking notes? And for some reason, we lost the banjo music. And then they come what back about in that there? fort right there? Is there anything to go into there? This? That's yeah. where the puzzle was. I don't think I, there's anything, but I'll check it out. Yeah, you can't enter it? I can. But I don't think there's anything. Oh, there. that's right. This is the code area. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Nothing in here. No! Why do I always get tripped up on the last few things? Because that's the way this works. What if they're like under the ship, though? Uh, I thought I got the ones in the ship. In the hold. I'll check in here again. That would be hilarious that, you know, we, we got that done so early and that's where the last notes were. I know I had a hard time getting some things in here because the swimming mechanics aren't really that great. Yeah. Um, nope. Is there anything above water? Nope. <laughs> no! And then I know we got the, the notes on the other side. Come on, three lousy notes. It's times like these in games that I really wish you could turn on like some kind of a radar. Play like a hot and cold game with the stuff that you're missing. <laughs> yeah. And the other thing that's frustrating with this is that Wait a minute, don't you get notes for killing enemies? No. And that... Just watch, they're out in the middle of the water. There's nothing in the middle of the water. Where it's like, come here, play with the shark some more. Well, 
ladies and gentlemen, we have embarked upon an epic quest. The quest for the last three notes. Hmm. If I can't find them, I'm coming back later. We might have to do that, just to, and then we'll we'll come back and say, yeah, there you go, 100 notes. And then people will get mad at us. That's not a completionist run! You didn't show all the notes! We're still getting them! I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Just, they're just eggs and feathers. Um, could there be something on the other side? No, because the other side is just the shell. Oh, wait, there's kind of a glint of gold up there in the lighthouse. Well, why can't I do that? No! Well, at least there's a honeycomb right there. What? Yeah, I think I saw like a little glint of gold um, up outside the lighthouse. There they are. Aha! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We can keep our promise, guys. It's completionist. <laughs> All right, and I guess that's the end of Treasure Trove Co. for us, is it not? Yes, it is. Yay! I'm gonna fly all the way back to the pad. Do so, my friend. We're gonna fly off into the sunset. It's my turn to hum, boys and girls. Alright, so that is Treasure Trove Cove for us. Oh my god, no. No, that's not the assistant, is it? No. Okay. It's just a monkey. Monkey! Wow, we went into D Dennis Hopper for nothing. Again. It's so much fun to do. We miss him. Alright, so there's our additional Jiggy. That's for the witch's lair. And now on oh, to Oh, now that looks dark and foreboding. Yep. Yeah, this is totally iMuse right here, because it's just the same basic tune with different uh, instruments being accentuated. Oh, this looks like a sewer level. Coming up to one, that's for sure. Now, we've been coming across those little mines for a while now, so if you touch them, I'm guessing they go boom. Yep. Where's the switch? That seems appropriate. Do we have to flush the toilet? No, we just gotta raise the platforms. Hey, Banjo! You're looking glum! It must be hard being so dumb! Just you wait. This big dumb bear is gonna be beating the living crap out of you when we come to you. <laughs> you know it. Alright, so now we have an additional platform. All that just to raise that and go back over. Love it's right. portal. All over again. I mean, you know, this is what you had to do to get the second portal. By the way, guys, we're not lying. Portal is on the agenda. We will go back to it. Oh! Empty race of fruit. Leave horse girdle under that repulsive dress of hers. Wow. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Blade Chomper. Okay, that's not bad. My sister sings in her own band, Brunty and the Rivers. Oh, broomsticks. <laughs> broomstick Brunty boys. and the Broomstick Boys. They're awful. Sometimes it's Brunty and the Rippers. Again. Brunty and the Rippers? Yeah. That would be appropriate. When I said that Bruntilda is randomized, uh, I mean every new file she's randomized. But she'll. But the. The clues she gives you will always stay the same. And. In this one, anyway. That's what I'm trying to say, at least. And what's her name? Bruntilda? Bruntilda. With a B. With a B. As in boy. As in Brunhilda. Oh, 
Oh, the coconut. That looks like another puzzle piece. Whoops. Looks like we're going to a swamp next. Yep. The Bubble Gloop Swamp. If you want to place all your pieces into the picture, just press red trigger! Yay. Bubble Gloop Swamp. We are. Which is a trope. <laughs> this game named it quite a few tropes. I believe it. Okay, and actually since that's going to be the introduction of a new world, that would probably be a great place to stop off. Oh, so okay. at this point, we'll, we'll go into the Bubble Gloop Swamp and then probably just call it there. Why are we going into Bubble Gloop Swamp? I thought that was the other way. No, that's to a different level. Gotcha. Yeah, because I wasn't thinking a Swamp vibe when I walked in here. I thought we were going into a sewer level. That will be a later level, I guess. I thought... And we need 180 notes. We have 200. This is why it's good to get all the notes in the world. Many tricks are up my sleeve. To save yourself, you better leave. Wow. That's a nice little statue of you, Gruntilda. Hey, Gruntilda. Oh, we're going to get more insults about her. Go ahead, talk to me about your sister. My lazy sister often sleeps in a dumpster. The dirty hack. The only thing she's ever won was the dirtiest undies competition at rich school. Wow! Ugh. She often busts up appearing on the cover of Fat Hack Monthly, posing in her mahjongs. Ew! I can't unsee this game! Stop it! Jeez, I thought Conker's Bad Fur Day was bad. This is kind of bad, too. <laughs> oh, there's another... Minion. Grunty Minion. Oh, and so this is this is the entrance to Bubble Bloop Swamp. Yes, but first... I can't use this. Hey, keep your feet out. But you can't use us until you've spoken to bottles. Oh, more grunty. My fat old sister's favorite sport is loogie flicking. Oh. Although she stemmed, she attended St. Dunball's school. You won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is performing a scary striptease. Oh, jeez. No. Oh, you poor dears. Your energy's low. Let me go with a party. Oh, that's nice, her. That's better. And now let me gross you out with more stuff about your, my sister you don't want to know. Oh, jeez. Yes. We don't... Oh, by the way, watch out. Don't do that. This is piranha water. Keep your smelly feet out. Wow, okay, so that's... It isn't just the shark. We have piranha infested water now, too. Yep. This will be the level hazard that we're go about to encounter. Indeed. So, let's go ahead and enter the bubble glued swamp at some point. Yeah, oh, this... we, we're, we gotta enter the honeycomb hut really quick. There we go. Because the piranhas took away our, our health. Okay, and with that, uh, let's go ahead and call it there, and then next time we will get into the Bubble Gloop Swamp. Keep your eyes open for a new move, big face. So nice to each other. So nice. But in the meantime, we will be back next time for more episodes of Banjo-Kazooie. See you next time.